Dr. Davidson, and I, I certainly want to thank you again for, um, you know, if you've never had a chance to be a part of the Few Minutes series, uh, we now have several Few Minutes series, and the whole concept of the Few Minutes is just uh, to provide something that is biblical, that is, of course, in God's Word, that is uh, encouraging, that is enlightening, about, enlightening about what God has in terms of the expectations of us and what he certainly has for us. But to also do it in such a way, you know, uh, in the speed and quickness and uh, d the amount of activity that people have, uh, it's not very often that they can sit down and, you know, look at a whole sermon, you know, but we want something that is just as powerful with people that they can look at instantaneously, that they can look at it in a doctor's office, or they can look at on an aircraft in just a few moments, or while they're waiting somewhere on a bus stop or on their lunch break. And so, just a few minutes, you know, we are now going to work with one of the books in the Old Testament, as I thought about what I would do, and it's just unbelievable the work that women do in ministry, uh, you know, I call them the lifeblood of ministry. And uh, so the real first time that we're going to do an Old Testament book, we're going to talk about a few minutes with two women of faith, a few minutes with two women of faith. And we're going to begin with the book of Ruth and its importance in God's word. And we pray that it would be, uh, that it would encourage, that it would enlighten. Let's get started with a woman left destitute. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your word again, oh God, in this brief book. Lord, we pray that it would encourage not only women, but it would encourage all of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. And thank God. Here we have the book of Ruth. Uh, you will find it, you know, early on in the Old Testament uh, and its extraordinary place that it has. And uh, we're just going to kind of let it unfold for you. Many people, you know, haven't read it. So we pray that if it's an introduction for you, that, um, you know, that it will certainly bless you in terms of being an introduction. And then for those of you who know the story, we pray that you would go and that you would see and that you would think and that it would just have a new place in your heart if you've seen it before. We're going to begin, A Woman Left Destitute. In the days when the judges ruled in Israel, a severe famine came upon the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judea, Judah left his home went to live in the country of Moab, taking his wife and two sons with him. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah left his home, as we said, and went to live in the country of Moab. He took his wife and his sons, as we said a little earlier. The man's name was Elimelech, and his wife was Naomi. They had two sons, it was Malan and Kilion. Their two sons were uh, married. They were Epaphrodites from Bethlehem in the land of Judah. And when they reached Moab, they settled there. Then Elimelech died, and Naomi was left with his two sons. The two sons married Moabite women. One married a woman named Orpah, and the other a woman named Ruth. But about ten years later, both Malon and Kilion died. This left Naomi alone without her two sons or her husband. A woman left destitute. Why would we say that? Because at that time, you know, number one, they're not in their country. They've left their country, as the scripture unfolds, because there's severe famine in the land. And like refugees, when there's famine, people go to try to find some place where there's food. And they ended in the land of Moab. Now, if you have been in... Um, just a few minutes. We heavily recommend that you do that. Go through just a few minutes, our faith heritage, and uh, there is a period of time as we move through in those, we move through the whole Old Testament, you know, you're now seeing a period of time, of course, when the families are, you know, they, you know, the, they are from the, uh, from Bethlehem. They are in the tri from the tribe of Judah. That's what's extraordinarily important. They're from the tribe of Judah. And, um, of course, the uh, Judah is the lineage in which Jesus would come eventually and ultimately. But they've gone to this place, and now her husband has died. It is clear they have no countrymen. And ten years later, her sons die. And to be left, it's not like you can go out and get employment as a female. 
They are in a foreign land. They're in a foreign country. She has neither her husband nor her sons. She has been left destitute. This is difficulty. It's unconscionable that you can lose your husband and lose both sons. It is an extraordinary destitute circumstance. And it is presented in the book of Ruth.